So you want to add time to your game? Seconds, minutes, hours, days, and maybe even months and years? Well, then this is the tutorial series for you. In this new mini-series, we will look at how we can make a time system in Godot. This first episode will be a short introduction to the series. In later episodes, we will then take a look at passing time, creating a GUI to display the time, how to pause and change the speed of the time, and finally, in the last episode, we will use it all to create a day and night cycle. I've made a start project available for this series on GitHub, and this can be downloaded by anyone, so you can all have the same setup as me from the beginning, if you wish so, of course. The project can either be cloned using Git or downloaded as a zip file. I've left a link in the description to where you can find the project files. For some of the episodes for this mini-series, there will also be exercises available for all paying YouTube and Patreon members. They can help you dig even deeper into the topics we're exploring. However, only the Patreon tiers that usually get access to my project files will have access to my solutions for the exercises. Now, let's take a look at what the start project includes. First of all, the project is made in Gito 4.3, so make sure you have this downloaded and ready before you start. The project doesn't include much yet. We have a few tile map layers with some grass, a few trees, bushes, flowers and so on. The art I'm using here is some of all the amazing free art from Kenny. I've left a link in the description to Kenny's website where you can find even more free art for your projects. I've also made us this cute little player that hops around. I think it's super cute with movement animations like this. If you want to get an idea of how this animation works, then open the player's animation player and take a look. I've also set up the Y sorting so the player can walk behind the trees and added collisions to both the trees and the bushes. And that's about it. This will be where we start off when we start working on the time system for real next time. And well, that was all for this introduction. Feel free to experiment with the project as it is set up right now to make sure that you understand how it all works. Next time, we will start working on the time system.